couple of weeks ago, we launched a survey to find out what you guys thought was the best flag in the world. Over 10,000 people voted, casting over a million votes. Those votes have been counted and analysed, and I'm now ready to share them with you. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what the 10 best and worst flags in the world are, as ranked by our audience. Before we start, this is a new channel, it's only our 10th video, but in that time we've put out videos explaining things like Ethiopia's famine and civil war, Putin's $1.37 billion palace and how he bought it, and what global debt actually is. We're also posting weekly summary videos to give you a quick rundown of topics like this which you might have missed, as well as article recommendations for deeper reading. So if you want to be kept up to date on what's going on around the world and topics like these, then make sure you subscribe. Thanks for your support. So before we get to the best and worst flags, here's a quick outline of how the survey works, because I know we'll get questions if we don't explain it. Respondents to the survey were asked some demographic information to help us calibrate the analysis, and then they were presented with a block of 20 flags. They'd be asked to rank each of these flags on a 1 to 5 scale, working through all 20 flags in the block. Once they were done, they could choose to submit their answers or keep going. If they kept going, they'd be presented with another random block of 20 flags, and so on. In total, 10,245 people voted in the survey, with 1,103,454 individual rankings, which means that the average person voted on 108 flags. Speaking of the results, I know you're itching for them, but I'd like you to take a moment, pause this video and comment below your guess at the top 10. Without peeking forward and seeing the results, have a guess at what you think the top 10 will be. I'll give you 5 seconds, but unless you can type incredibly quickly, you might want to pause this video. Now you've had your guesses, let me run you through some hints. We ran a whole bunch of analysis to try and find out what things you guys liked and didn't in each flag, whether the countries, designs etc made any difference, as well as the biases that voters showed. So let's run through some of that data and see if you're feeling quite as confident with your guesses. Firstly, let's take a look at colour. Our data shows that the colour you guys like least in flags is green, followed by blue and yellow. The flags which scored highest were the ones containing red, black and most popular of all, white. As well as colours, we took a look at the common iconography of flags. Flags with crosses scored highest on average, with a strong 3.2 average score. Also pretty popular were flags that contained the classic vertical stripe with 2.9, only just beating out the horizontal stripe variants with an average of 2.8. Although when it comes to stripes, you guys actually preferred the diagonal variant, averaging 2.91. More popular than any of those were flags containing suns, which did better than their other common celestial counterparts, the stars and moons. Less popular though than all of these design choices are the ones that contain crests, with crested flags averaging only a 2.7. Even less popular were flags within flags. Flags which included the British flags in the corner averaged only 2.4, while the French flag was even less popular, with flags featuring it scoring only a 1.9 average. With all of that info, you've got one last chance to comment your guesses below. I'll give you 5 seconds. So we've done our duty as YouTubers, delayed the bit of the video you actually wanted and put in a mid-roll before we got there. So here we go, here are the results starting with the bottom 10. In 10th place, scoring 2.12, we have the very vibrant island nation of Neuer. 9th we have the British Overseas Territory of Montserrat. At 8th is the Central American nation of Belize. At 7th comes that moment when you search for a transparent image and then paste it into a document only to find out that it's not actually transparent. It's Haiti with 2.11. 6th is the US island territory of Guam. The 5th worst flag in the world is the Southern African nation of Zambia. In 4th you voted for the French Southern and Antarctic islands. Now in the medal positions. Bronze goes to the British Overseas Territory of Turks and Caicos. Winning silver is Mayotte, an overseas department of France found in the Indian Ocean. And the gold medalist, the worst flag in the world, with a score of 1.84, is Wallace and Fortuna, another French territory. 
Congratulations, I suppose, to these countries. Maybe consider running a flag referendum to get yours changed. I wouldn't ask New Zealand for advice, though, because we all saw what happened over there. Maybe have a word with Gray and Brady instead. Anyway, enough delay. Here's the best flags in the world, as ranked by over 1 million votes. In 10th place, with an average score of 3.716, is Iceland. Only marginally ahead by 0.005 points is Japan. Scoring 8th place is Wales, and in 7th is another British nation, Scotland. In 6th is Norway, who scored 3.82. Actually, I'll level with you, it's not quite that simple. Norway shares their flags with Bouvet Island and Svalbard and Jan Mayen, both of which are associated with Norway, so don't worry, we don't need to send in any lawyers here. Anyway, because this flag was in the running three times, it actually came 6th, 7th and 9th, which really just shows how much you guys liked it. So we averaged the scores that all three identical flags got and ended up with 3.82 as the average, landing it in 6th place. The fifth best flag in the world, as rated by you, is South Africa. In fourth is the United Kingdom. In bronze medal position comes South Korea, beating the UK onto the winner's podium by 0.004 points. In silver, you'll find Hong Kong with a 4.04 average. But the winner, the best flag in the world, with an average score of 4.07, is Canada. Oh, Canada. Our home and native land. So now you know the top 10 and the bottom 10, but I bet you still have some more questions. What about the EU's flag? Did British respondents rank it lower than other Europeans because of Brexit? Who did better between Australia and New Zealand? And what about other major countries like the US, China, India and Brazil? Where did they place? Well, let me tell you. Possibly the most interesting thing we found in the data analysis is how countries rank their own flags. So we use this data to try and work out which countries over and underrate their flags most. Let's take France as an example. French people gave the tricolour an average score of 3.897, while the rest of the world gave it an average of 3.390. If we take these numbers together, we can see that the French overrated their flag by 0.508 points. The question is, which country overrated their own flag the most? Well, that would be Colombia, whose citizens overrated their flag by a massive 2.166 points. Also in the top five, you'll find Ukraine, Trinidad and Tobago, Puerto Rico and Lebanon. On the other end of the spectrum, only one country in the entire world underrated their flag. Every single country's citizens, besides this one, gave their own flag a score higher than the average. The only country to underrate their flag was Japan, whose citizens scored their flag 0.054 points lower than the rest of the world did. If you're interested, here are the other countries who also rated their flag lowest. One other interesting thing like this is how different countries in the UK rated the Union Jack. As you might know from the news, things are a little tense with the Union at the moment. So what does everyone think of the flag? Well, the global average was 4.020, fourth place. The English and Northern Irish rated it higher than average though, while Scotland and Wales put it lower. Maybe they were just proud of their own high-scoring flags, but there's very little love coming from these countries, with them underranking the Union's flag far worse than any other country did. Now, the EU is the only non-country we included on the list, with it obviously being a grouping of nations. As such, we didn't include it in any of the national comparisons. By the way, if it were a country, it would have come 16th. Regardless, it's interesting to see how different nations rank the EU's flag. Here's how each EU country rated the EU's flag, and we're not going to draw any conclusions from the data, but it's interesting to see how opinions and sentiment vary country by country. Also, you might remember that Canada, the winning flag, got an average score of 4.07, so a whole bunch of these European nations ranked the EU's flag higher than the overall winning score. Interesting too is how former member the UK ranks it, giving it an average score of 3.384. More fascinating, though, is what happens when you break it down country by country, with Scots clearly liking the EU's flag much more than any other nation in the Union. 
Fellow European non-members also rank the flag relatively low, so maybe this is just a general trend and not Brexit related. Okay, so you probably want to know how specific countries did. Well, let's go through some of the big ones. Europe scored an average of 3.118 points, the highest continental average, and here's how some of the big countries on the continent ranked. Oceania was the lowest scoring continent. Looks like Australia just scooped it with this one. Let's turn to Asia, where some of the biggest countries scored like this. Shout out to Macau, one of the more unusual flags towards the top of the list. Let's move on to Africa, and while the continent as a whole scored fairly low, there were some standout flags in there, for good and bad reasons. South America's another continent with some real standout flags, and while none broke the top 10, Brazil, Argentina and Venezuela led the way for the continent. Last but not least, let's turn to North America, because I bet you want to know how the US ranked. Surprisingly low actually, coming in a whole 57 places behind their victorious northern neighbour. If we didn't mention your country and you want to see where they placed, then you can find the full list on Google Sheets. There's a link to that in the description. Also linked below is this map from our website, which allows you to check out how every country did in comparison to each other. Anyway, that's all for this video, but that doesn't mean the fun's over. On the TLDR US channel, we're about to launch a similar contest to find out the best state flag. If you want to have your say all over again, then there's a link to that vote in the description too. Oh, and also make sure to subscribe to TLDR US to be updated when the results video is out. Thanks so much to everyone who voted, because without you, this obviously wouldn't have been possible. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more global content like this, but normally with a slightly more newsy and political spin. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible, and if you want to see your name at the end of videos, then you too can back us on Patreon. The link to that's in the description.